In Washington now, President Trump touting his impeachment acquittal as a total victory. And today he invited his allies to the White House for a celebration. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on this. Dick. Maurice and Christine, the president took two giant victory laps today, the first at a prayer breakfast, then with a speech at the White House where he praised supporters, but he also sometimes profanely struck back at his political foes. This is what the end result is. Yeah. President Trump said he was celebrating his acquittal at the White House, but he was also unloaded. It was all bull****. <laughs> it was evil. It was corrupt. It was dirty cops. And he was settling scores with political enemies. Adam Schiff is a vicious, horrible person. Nancy Pelosi is a horrible person. And she wanted to impeach a long time ago when she said, I pray for the president. I pray for the president. She doesn't pray. She may pray, but she prays for the opposite. <laughs> but I doubt she prays at all. Speaker Pelosi attended the national prayer breakfast in the morning and was only a few feet away when Mr. Trump blasted her and Senator Mitt Romney, who was the one Republican to vote to convict on an impeachment charge. I don't like people who use their faith as justification for doing what they know is wrong. Mischaracterizing uh, other people's motivation. He's talking about things that he knows little about, faith and prayer. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said Mr. Trump should have shown some remorse when he spoke today and said Republicans who acquitted him feared his wrath. And some of those colleagues said, well, the president will now never do it again. This speech proved that he will do it again because he's on his self-righteous horse saying he did nothing wrong. In the meantime, Speaker Pelosi defended her decision to rip up the president's State of the Union address. I tore up a manifesto of mistruths was necessary to get the attention of the American people to say this is not true. Later in the day, the president greeted the president of Kenya and ignored a shouted question. Will you speak to Speaker Pelosi again? And you heard no answer from the president. It's believed they haven't talked in months. Just a few days ago, Mr. Trump said he will, he thinks he will have a rough time doing business with Democrats going forward. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.